we, we've we've been talking about it for a long time. We've been on board with this ride with Terrifier for a couple of years, courtesy of um, uh, the producer for the first two films, I find Uncle Creepy. Um, and uh, boy, Terrifier 3, Shah, uh, we thought it would do well. We thought it would resonate with people. We, you know, we were worried maybe a little bit there. But Shah, Terrifier 3 overperforms and beats everyone at the box office in its opening weekend. And you saw it. Uh, your thoughts? Well, the fact that it beat the Joker is fucking crazy. A week after it opened. Like, dude, that right there says a lot. Um, I actually, I, I took this girl to the movie for the first time. This is this is my second time meeting her too. By the way, you she took stopped talking a to me after this girl? movie. Yeah, she stopped talking to me after this movie. Like hundred. Why did you take so the mar- girl to the movie? You knew I showed her the trailer, and she was like, "Oh, that, that looks a little wild." Are I was you like, oh, it's fun. serious? Like, it's, it's like- I didn't know this at all. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, you it took was not. A, it's a very random, awkward. A rando girl. To well, this? that was my second time seeing her. I wouldn't take her the first time, but you know, uh, yeah, it was it was very awkward afterwards. You could tell she was very uncomfortable just in the first ten minutes. If I'm you've seen the movie, you know. <laughs> you um, she was very uncomfortable. And I think the part the part where she completely checked out and was like, oh, fuck this what? guy. Um, I'm not going to spoil it, but John will know what I'm talking about. The mall scene. The mo- well, the, well, it's very controversial. Yeah. I, she I'm was so not sorry. I, this is not like a shtick, Michelle. Did you know he took a random girl to this? No, I thought it was bad when my buddy took a first date to the gathering of the Juggalos. Now, this is a completely different level of depraved, man. I, I, I yeah, actually not a good idea. I uh I kind of look up to you in a weird way, like the shock. <laughs> Terrible. This move. is like, I just don't even understand how that happens. Like, I honestly, when- I didn't really think about it. Like, I didn't think it would offend. I like because to me, you know, what I mean, it's not, it's nothing to me. But it's- from somebody else's perspective, like I, I just have a hard time, I guess, adjusting. I, I don't know. Dude, I didn't think I it would be a big deal. I just thought this. we were just going to a horror movie, and then okay, when we went in there, I was like, oh, horror- this is my. Dude, fucking, you know, this is not just a horror movie. This is Terrifier 3. Hard, hard, hard R. Hard R. Hardest of the hard. I mean, I, I had to put her to the test, man. And uh, she failed and I failed in her book, clearly. Because... Well, all right. There's so uh, much to digest here. But let's just cut without, without because we can't get into the particulars of the movie because B-Show hasn't seen it. And people haven't seen it. Right. This is insane. I beyond. I can't. I can't wait to tell people that you did this. I swear to God. Um, well, another thing is the first time I met her, she came to my house afterwards. This time, she did not come to my house. Of afterwards. course, <laughs> she's not going to come to your house. Why would she came the first time? Second time, the movie. You could tell she just she now. Checked now, out, do you though. think she the was... fact that in the mall scene, perhaps you had an erection, was that the reason why? <laughs> I honestly, I thought the mall scene was fine. Like it's, I thought it it's was implied. fine too. I thought, Who cares, I thought, man? It's the implied. internet you doesn't agree, it. but the internet yeah. is a little. Yeah, mad. it's come on. I mean, right, dude, so- we saw, we watched, we watched that one movie. Um, what is it? The house that Jack built. Like that's yeah. a lot more offensive to me than. Well, it's hard. It's it's brutal. Right. It's in the mall serious. scene. You know, um, my God, uh, man, this is B show. This is. I, I like. I feel like the whole show should just stop, and this should just be the show. Like, it's like I what? A, what I didn't think it was a big deal. I, I'm sorry, I didn't. Really I mean, think it it's was a big kind deal. of. I'm sorry. I mean, look, we're no prudes here. There's no prudes in the. Even the chat is like, "Are you serious, dude?" Dude, Chris Matthews was like, "Good lord, man!" Like, oh my god, B show. What do you say to this? I you did. Know. I did show her the trailer on my phone, and she was but like, "Oh, this I looked... doesn't show anything." Yeah, <laughs> but you know, any of the protests. Look, here's the thing. All right, my wife barely watched Terrifier two with me. There's no way I'm taking her to Terrifier three. Oh, there's no chance no. you should. Even... There's no way. No, I'm not even dropping that name publicly. If I Terrifier was terminally 3. ill, and my one of my last wishes was my wife went to the, she would say, "I will, I will join you in the afterlife." I will just, we will not be watching that with you. Um, all right. B show, but I have to ask Shah, but we, cause this will take up everything. Shah, let me ask you a question. Take that out of it. Your impression of the film. Uh, it's probably my favorite one out of the three so far. Um, I appreciated that it was a little bit more condensed. It was about two hours. Uh, yeah. The last one was two and a half. And I thought that was a little, was a little two overkill. Um, this one felt much less grindhousey. You know what I mean? It had a bigger budget. It looked, it still had that, you know, griminess to it but it yeah, didn't look right. it didn't look as dirty you know 
Um, it, it was more violent. I didn't think they were going to get more violent. They got more violent. Um, <laughs> specifically, uh, you know, the, the the I like the bar scene a lot. Love the um, bar scene. The Love shower it. scene is crazy. Um, the shower scene's pretty great. I I don't. My only issue with it is I just wish they would have dug a little deeper as far as like you know. They're clearly What's happening with this? Yeah. Is this a demon? Like, what the fuck? What, what, They're what clearly are you doing? saving it. That's what I took from it. But yeah. let me ask you a question. Two things. You said this was the best of the three. Is this one of the best horror films you saw all year? And do you think maybe it's time to step away from the hard violence of it and go into the story for the next two films? There's going to be two more films. Um, It's definitely in my top three. Oh, yeah. um, my top the five. Year. definitely my top three mm. um i i don't think they need to tone it down because that's part of the gimmick you know what i mean okay. it's almost like deathmatch wrestling you know what i mean it's got this niche extreme audience and they're going into it expecting a certain thing i think if you tone it down in the fourth one it's going to backfire a lot but i i do wish that they add a little bit more depth to it you know what i mean yeah. not that slashers necessarily even need that but since they've already implied a lot of it it's like well now you left me hanging. I don't know what the fuck's going on. So like now you kind of got to do it, you know? Okay. Um, they could have just kept it simple and just kept them as a human being. That's fucking crazy and killing people, you know, but they've added these layers to it, but they're yeah, unexplained. It's, so it's kind of just like, I don't know what I'm dealing with here. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, I also do like the, the, uh, I thought Sienna was much better in this one. As far as acting too. She was, she was fucking great. Um, yeah. She was way better in this. I, I like, yeah, way better. Even the brother, the brother was good too. Um, I thought like the PTSD aspect of it was dope. How they, good, like, it was a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, like a lot of these final girls, they don't ever show like what happens to them after this. After. They don't show them struggling. And this was like one of the first times I've seen them show like, yo, they they barely got by after fucking what Art the Clown did in the second yeah. one, you know. Yeah. Um. So I thought that was that was actually very smart and kind of unique. I've never really seen that in in much slashers. Um. Overall, it was really good though. I thought I thought I had fun with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. My only complaint is just give me a little bit more depth. And I just, it, it it didn't feel like the second one at all. You know what I mean? The second one was just dirtier. This one had a cleaner look to it, but it was more violent. It was just as dirty. So and I thought art was actually a lot funnier in this one than the previous ones. You know, I did hand too. gestures and face yeah. gestures. And the stuff. stuff with Santa was pretty great. That yeah. was probably my favorite stuff was the Santa stuff I thought was pretty great. Like, you yeah. Know. Um, B Show, you, you're, I mean, you got to get your ass in the movie theater, huh? I know I was going to do it the other night, but I had early meetings and I just couldn't, I couldn't justify being half, you know, awake to go watch Terrifier. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to go see it. Hopefully I'll get to see it this weekend. I have a feeling based on what I've heard that I'm going to be kind of repulsed at certain things, but I'm going to like it more than I like Terrifier too, which is hard because I really like that movie. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of people are saying this is their favorite, like Shaw said. I still think I like two better because it was just so shocking. Like, it was like, wow, like I haven't seen a film like this in a theater, like maybe in a really long time. And now this was a more condensed version. Cause like Shaw says, it was not to copy everything he said, but it is very true. It looks better. The film quality looks better. Um, they clearly spent a little bit more money on it, but uh, B show you're in for a wild ride, man. I mean, it's just, it's so in hyper violent. You know, uh, that's what I'm saying. It's a hyper violent. Shab, would you say like this is probably one of the most violent movies you've seen in a long time? Yeah, yeah. The ultra violence is definitely ultra up violence. there. Um, yeah, ultra. Violence. I also like how he uses different tools to kill. You know what I mean? It's not like oh, he's yeah. not known for one thing. He uses fucking hammers in this. Like it wasn't there like a fire extinguisher. It was like fucking. There was yeah. Anything. He uh, lit liquid nitrogen was his. Yeah, he was <laughs> testing. He was. B show. We see him working on liquid nitrogen in his spare time, like just trying to get make sure it's just right. Yeah, it's, it's uh, freezing. Fantastic. Yeah, it's freezing. It's, it's limbs so over and, the top, dude. It's, yeah, it's, it's just so over the top. Now there is a backlash. Uh, we will not get into too much of it because it's plot related. But the the backlash B show that's coming up is. There are murders that involve children, which is really not surprise anybody from the trailer because it seemed very evident that that would happen. And there is um, the plot is very is paper thin. It's thinner than my hairline with very thin. Um, and now you're seeing what I believe. And I said this online. I will say it on the show. I believe that there could be people, possibly industry plants, purposely trying to take the move to sales out of this movie really this, wow. i absolutely believe that 100 and i'm not a conspiracy guy I, yeah. I think the earth is round you know um but b show 
what what do you say to this backlash based on the violence against children as this this is ne- as if this has never happened in a film in the history of cinema i think terrifier has reached this weird place where it is becoming pop culture so as it reaches that peak you're going to have more and more as you would say uh you know square people or people who aren't really into that scene who are going to be offended by shit which i think that's I think it's kind of stupid because if you've watched the first two, you know that art has no limits. I'm not going to enjoy that because it, it makes me uncomfortable to see kids being murdered and shit. I just, it's like you guys with animals. I, it just, I don't like it, but it doesn't mean I'm going to run out like Kevin Smith dogma style with a sign and boycott the movie. <laughs> um, the thing about the story, I've had a really hard time with, with horror fandom, especially in the last five years. And I think people get so up their own ass about, you're, and I know we, we pump A24 and Neon a lot, like these higher, these elevated horror. And it's like, are, do you really like horror movies? Because if you go on and on about elevated horror and these great stories and this, this artistic fucking medium, but then you hate Terrifier. Yeah. Like, do you even like horror movies? It, it's almost like the, I always said the Young Bucks horror. It's like, it's horror movies for people who don't really like horror movies. So I kind of get what people are saying, but it's a slasher movie. Right. Dude, the only depth Friday the 13th had was that her son drowned and she was coming back to avenge him, like the opposite that of That is psycho. true. Like Friday the 13th. That's funny you saying that, B-Show, because you haven't seen the film yet. So, I, again, we're not going to talk really too much more about this plot stuff. But, like, but Sha, like, when you think about Friday the 13th's plot <laughs> and, like, or, like, Chainsaw's plot, and it's, like, why, why is Terrifier's plot being thin something to shit on? But it hasn't been for any of these other movies, really. Well, like I mentioned before, I wouldn't have an issue if they never implied any of it. You know, they've teased a lot of things in two and three now that are unexplained. That's the only issue that I'm seeing people complain about. Okay. If they never put those in there, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Just have art just killing people every movie. I don't fucking care. Like, that's right. entertaining enough for me. I expect that from a slasher movie. I'm not expecting depth and storyline, you know, but <laughs> um, there's just so much unexplained things that they've, you know, flashbacks and. I yeah, just, her father. We need explanations. We need to know what the fuck we're watching. You know, just yeah. let you understand it and make it concise. I get yeah, that. Because yeah, because it's confusing yeah. at this point. You know. Um, Speaking of confusing, I didn't realize that the father in the movie is Jason Patrick from Lost Boys. I I, I think I knew that, but I watched the movie. He clearly got a little chunky, and I'm like, Jason Patrick was the dad. Did you know that B show? No, I did not. Yeah, but remember they cast him a long time ago. Yeah, he was cast. Yeah. Um, Look, I mean, look, Gary is saying, Gary Thorpe, a friend uh, in uh, Ireland, there is saying that the backlash for killing children is that people start dressing up like Arthur Clown. Yeah, I mean, for Halloween, I don't know that people are dressing up like Arthur Clown and going to office parties, you know, or anything like that. Guys, um, let me tell you, let me let you in on something. Freddy Krueger, mm. he liked to diddle children. And yeah, he was a child All right, that was, was part of the monster. story. <laughs> yeah. It was a huge part. And Joe Punches is saying that the child scene in Dr. Sleep was more traumatizing. Absolutely, that was traumatizing when they well, sucked the soul out of the kid. You know? I, I, I just want to mention this. I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's not really what you think. Like, don't go into it expecting to see it. It's, it's, it's everything. Well, is- yeah, I mean, no, I get it. And we don't really have, but, but, but Frankenstein killed a little girl hundred yeah. years ago. Yeah, I just mean like the, that scene in Terrifier, I thought was the least offensive out of the whole fucking movie. Like, I mean, that yeah, it was an easy, it was an easy, it was an easy. Yeah, because it, pl- it was a plot in, point. Yeah, it was a plot yeah, point. I thought it was yeah, not, that right. was nothing. I thought that well, was much worse. The backlash is there. There's a lot of people that really hate this f- franchise very much. There's a lot of people that hate that it's so successful. B Show, can we pull the current box office up? Now, this is a two and a half million dollar movie that obliterated Joker, which lost about 70 plus percent of its audience in the week over Joker two is slated to lose $150 million. Crazy. Um, so I can't can make, I'm sorry. You can't find box office. No, go ahead. I'll, I'll find it. But I, I found this too on screen rant. Oh, go ahead. The box office insiders in, in the industry think that terrifier would have had better sales. If underage teenagers weren't buying tickets to other movies like wild robot and sneaking yes, in, sneaking in. Yeah. <laughs> And let me that's find the wild. Box that's old school. That's something my generation did with R-rated movies. We buy tickets for a PG movie and then walk into the R-rated movie so we could see titties and shit. Um, what what are we looking at here? Because it's expected to have a huge second weekend this close to Halloween. 
from Collider, it's recently passed 25 million domestically. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Sha. Oh, it's a blockbuster. <laughs> I mean, I think I think Art the Clown is like a certified like horror icon at this point already. Um you know the hatchet movies there was a bunch of different characters that came out yeah. in the last 20 years but not like this none of them really stuck you know not what i mean like, like the last what is it what is the last one is, i'm gonna say that? jigsaw yeah yeah and ghostface probably right like those ghostface, are the last jigsaw two. ghostface jigsaw art yeah. that's the new scent that's the 21st century right there by the way didn't yeah. scream start in the 90s yeah okay so and and saw started late 90s 2000, early 2000s, no, like 2000s, 2000s, early 2000s. Yeah. yeah i would say jigsaw hostile uh, Although not an icon. No, it's not a, there's not like a character. Yeah, but it's not like a, yeah. It's not a character. Right. Jigsaw, art, uh, Scream. Yeah, even Neckbird's is saying it too. That That's the last two. Yeah, those are the last two. Mm -hmm. Ghostface from yeah. Scream and Jigsaw yeah. from Small. I mean, look, 25 million. And listen, I think it's going to do big money this weekend, B-Show. It's two weeks before Halloween. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to do big and big money. Yeah, this is not a movie that's going to die heading into Halloween. I mean, <laughs> look, and here's the thing, too, is we've all watched, you know, varying movies this year. We've watched a lot of the movies that have come out together as a collective. Yeah. We're going to have I, you're going to have more more of a talk on that on the post show because we have too many things to get to. But yeah, but my, my point to that is I haven't seen anything that's really knocked me over. I haven't seen um the, the Demi Moore movie. I haven't seen Strange oh. Darlings. Oh. But my but out of the stuff I've seen, I haven't Beast. seen anything that's really bowled me over. But Long Legs, I think we were all on a board that when Long yeah. Legs kind of real right shot. When you say too, like Long Legs really impacted, I think all of us in a big way. Yeah, I mean, I think I think Long Legs, Immaculate Omen, and Maxine and Terrifier. Those are probably like the five. Wow, that, that's a you know, that's, that's a my big, eyes that's so a far. big buddy. That's a big yeah. ball of list right there. Yeah, those Jesus. are like probably my top five right now. Wow, and like Mine honestly, could be dude, very different. But I doubted Terrifier early on because my first introduction to Terrifier was people were saying the original was like, "Oh, this is the new Halloween." I'm like, "Wait a minute, that's like saying something's a new Psycho or whatever." That's pretty big shoes to fill. I don't think you can argue at this point with the box it, office and the it's success. The, it's the new it's, Halloween. It is. It is. I, it is. I mean, and, and look, we are a little biased here, surely, right? Mm -hmm. But. I, B show it is. I shot is it the new Halloween? I think it's just, it is. I mean, it's not, and you guys gotta remember too, the audience is loving this. It's not like a Halloween where half the people go and go, what a piece of shit, and it gets a right. 48 or a 62, maybe, and and you know, and it the drops off. Shot, is it the new Halloween? I think it is, man. Yeah, I, I would say so. I don't I don't think they're gonna stop anytime soon either. Um, you're gonna see 10 of these things, you know what I mean? Like this is gonna drag on and on. Um Although I, I do want to see something else from Damien Leon because, like, you know, it seems like he can he knows how to make these type of old school fucking slasher films. So I would like to see him do like a Friday the 13th or something I would else. Kill you know? to see him do that. We all want to see him do um, it. But that yeah, would, that would, I right think now. that would kind of suck if like he spends most of his career just making Terrifier movies. Yeah, but you know? it's so hot right now. <laughs> like, why right, would but, you, stop? you know? I don't know. As a, as a filmmaker, you just want to see them do different projects too. You know it, what I mean? It's the equivalent of a Marvel property ten years ago. Yeah, just I, I get it though. I mean, it, you know, financially it would make sense to just keep doing this. You know, but yeah, I mean, I think we will see him for sure. I mean, you know, he, you know, he's other aspirations. But uh, shout out to the Terrifier family. Uh, wow, what can you say? Honestly.